Hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel, welcome back to Kathy Rain. Uh, I hope that you guys have been enjoying this uh, adventure so far. It's It's been getting better and better actually by the episode. I used to think it's kind of cheesy and kind of easy, but I'm kind of starting to like it a little bit more. Um, but I'm, I, I'm, I'm kind of afraid that I'm, we might be getting close to the end of it. I hope not. But anyway, uh, if you need a recap for last episode, and what we have been doing so far, um, I can, well, the, the, the best way to find out everything is just go back and watch the last episode that we did. But uh, we we went and we picked the red flower, we made the bloodier Mary, and um, I'm about to go and talk to Bill again and uh, give him this uh, drink that's probably going to remind him about um, my daddy, Brian, and, and their past and all that stuff. So here we go. I don't know if I need to talk to him first or just present him the drink, but uh, let's just talk to him. Hey, Bo, I have some more questions. I do. I'm listening. Um, show bloody your Mary. Hey, Bo, I've got something for you. <laughs> I recognize that smell. You found your dad's recipe. I knew about it. Something all along. like that. Man, is this a trip down memory lane? I keep expecting Brian to walk in here any second. You know, all this nostalgia is making me remember how much I really owe your old man. Yeah? Yeah. So, here's the deal. In 86, Carl, my VP at the time, came to me and said he had a job lined up for the club. Some guy had offered him good dough for stealing a bunch of paintings from a mansion. He needed two brothers for the job. I was busy with other things at the time, so I gave my permission as long as the club got the usual cut. Mm -hmm. He returned a week later with a nice wad of cash. I didn't realize it was Wade he had knocked off until I read the paper. If I had known that, I'd advised against it. Wade is a powerful man with friends in city council. There's no reason to piss him off. Got it. So what do you know about the guy who hired you for the job? Not much. Carl said it was some bearded preacher. <gasps> Whoa, Isaac from the Church of the Holy Trinity? Could be. I don't know who that is. It was a priest. What? Much. Thanks, Bo. I'm gonna follow up on this right away. No way. What a That's it? what a fucking You're twist. Not ask me about what happened to your old man? Not even curious. I couldn't give two shits about that asshole. Bullshit. Don't expect anyone to believe you're that angry with someone you don't give two shits about. Either he's dead or he abandoned me. Do any of those options look appealing to you? They don't, but you should know that no one from the club had anything to do with it. I meant it when I said Brian was a good brother. He had no enemies here. Not then, and not now. Comforting to hear, Mr. President. Shut up and listen, girl. I'm trying to tell you something. Brian used to talk about heading to Mexico, about riding off into the sunset and getting away from all his newfound responsibilities. And I think part of him was serious. You deserve to know that there's a chance he's still out there somewhere. Sure. Let's hope that bastard is living it up somewhere. <sighs> Just take care of yourself, you hear? You too. All right, I'm gonna hit the road. Ride safe. That day went by fast. I think I'm gonna ask if I can stay the night at Grandma's. Oh, okay. Well... Um, so maybe my daddy is not as bad as uh, everybody makes it out to look like. I don't know. Um, so here we are. Let's go talk to grandma, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Hello, sweetheart. Hey, grandma, it got kind of late. Would it be okay if I stay the night? Of course, <coughs> dear. Have a seat. I'll Excuse make you me. something to eat. Oh, you're the best. I'm starving. Do you see? You are both unwanted, both discarded. Good. Lick the flames, buddy boy. Lick the flames and feel the hatred burn. What? Oh, 
Did you did you look out the window? Lily's painting, burning, and the kid from the cemetery. Guys, rewind. It's gotta mean something. Rewind the video to the beginning of this scene, and instead of looking at the September thingy down below, just look outside the window for and you'll see the 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 man, the red man. Walk past Grandma's house, from left to right, out that window. Looks like the rain finally stopped. He might be in the windows here, too. Oh, good morning. Hi, Kathy. What the... Uh, morning? This is... Wow, this is quite the surprise. You have such a lovely friend, dear. We've been chatting What if she's morning. the red man? Oh, I have no doubt. She's quite the talker, this one. You sleep even longer here than you do back home. Oh, gee, must be the blissful lack of distractions here, E. Can I talk to you for a sec, outside? Alone. Okie dokie. If your grandmother doesn't mind being left all by herself for a while. Sure. Are you serious? You go ahead, children. I'll be right here if you need me. She's she's always here all by herself. And she doesn't seem to ever sleep or walk or do anything else. What the hell is wrong with you, E? Is the concept of personal boundaries new to you? This is not cool, yo. What you doing here, Eileen? concept of personal boundaries new to you? That's a rhetorical question, right? Was a single morning devoid of Eileen too much to ask? I'm frankly surprised that I'm allowed bathroom breaks by myself with you in the same building. I was super bored. Besides, you never got back home last night. I wanted to make sure you were okay. Well, as you can plainly see, I'm not a corpse. You could be a very convincing zombie. Very funny. You can go home now, E. Fine. I won't tell you what I found in my research yesterday, then. Ugh, I hate you. I'm so glad you asked. I looked up a few statistics for this county, looking for any anomalies. First okay. off, there's a high number of missing persons reports in the area. That wouldn't be too unusual if, let's say, the county had a high crime rate. But it doesn't. Violent crimes are actually lower than in other comparable counties. Huh. That's just outright creepy. It gets even better. It turns out that this county has the highest number of clinically insane in the state. And guess what? Conwell Springs County is tiny. Per capita, the difference to the county in second place is humongous. Over a thousand percent. That makes some sense. I found out that this cocky person is locked tight at Ingstrom's. Wow, we should go talk to him, right? He must have some answers. That's the plan. I should probably fill you in on the rest I found. So, I'm gonna head over there today and confront Isaac about the paintings. Don't you think it's a bit risky, Kathy? It could just backfire and piss him off. Oh, I'm hoping it will. Nothing wrong with some good old provocation to make people show their true colors. You never gave him the picture of the lights, right? Nah, I didn't want the guy to faint. He sounded pretty brainwashed about the Holy Trinity thing. And none of the church people know who I am, right? I guess not. So? My point is that you grilled the priest good yesterday. You already tried it your way. I'm a fellow Christian. Maybe I could try something different, like make up a cute cover story and pretend to want to join their church. If he still won't trust me, I can show him my copy of the picture. Maybe it will make him open up. I suppose it would give me enough time to drive back to the city and talk to Jimmy before it gets too late. Yay! Oh, let's do it! I'm so excited. I can't wait to lie to people. You know that's a sin, What a good right? Christian. Oh, I'm sure Jesus will make an exception this time. After all, he loves me. I'm not going to waste any time then. Let's catch up on the phone tonight. Okie dokie. Talk to you later. Wow, <laughs> that goes to show that Eileen is a pretty manipulative kind of person. Hello, Jimmy. I've been looking for you. Oh, is it for real this time? Yes, this is all very real. So you're going to ask me about Joseph now? How do you know that? Who told you? You did. Every time you came here. You're not making any sense, Jimmy. 
we've never met before. I'm making perfect sense. Everyone says so. I'm the sharpest tool in the shed. All bets are off now, Missy. Better buckle up and enjoy the ride. Forget all the rules. No going from top to bottom. No checking off all the items on your list. Start by asking me about the young chronicler. Wait, what? He said, don't ask me in any order. Ask me directly about the young chronicler? Cro cro chronicler? Who? Um... Who's that? Uh, Was Lily Myers the chronicler? The drowned girl, yes. She saw the loops, the endless possibilities. She found that the branches had all been severed. Nothing but inevitability remained, staring her right in the eye. In the end, she was pulled across the great threshold, just like I was. I was next. Next what? for what? You're not listening. I'm next. What? Uh... Do you know what happened to my grandfather in 81? No, that's not me. That's not my name. Oh, I'm next? Like... What happened to you, Jimmy? Why are you in this place? I'm not. I'm six feet under looking up, watching reruns without a care in the world. You know, Joseph was a beacon. His passing sent ripples traveling in all directions. Touching all of us with burning intensity. In my case, resulting in immobilizing guilt. After all, I sent him out there. It was all my fault. What was? What did you ask him to do? Be patient. We'll get there eventually. We need to follow the rules. Let's continue, ironically, with the men who break the rules. The men who break their rules would be the thieves of the art. But why does he want me to follow a sp specific order? Is he trying to, like, recreate a, a moment? Is he trying to guide fate in some sort of way? What is so special about Lily Meyer's art? That's not the men who break the rules. Oh, okay. Um, oh, uh, the black hats. You mean the black hats? They're the men who break the rules? Indeed. Your father broke every rule in the book, did he not? That's a mild way of putting it. I feel your pain, but you will be free of him soon enough. I've seen you atop a great pit, dropping the last remaining memento of him into the empty blackness below. Your mother, on the other hand, that's a story with a different ending. You know m Mom? How... How is she? Why don't you see her yourself and find out? It's complicated. The last time we met was... ugly. Looking away won't make it any less ugly, Kathy. I know, just not yet. Very well. Let's go see the man you reunited with his family. Jesus. Um... The man I reunited with his family. Do you know what happened to my grandfather in 81? No, that's not him. Oh, the red man? The man in red? Is that who you're talking about? Yes, indeed. Who is he, really? The collector of souls. The one who beckons and prepares. Some call him a spirit guide. Others... A devil dressed in red. You are doing so much better than the last time. Now, ask me about the first thing you can think of. What the fuck is he talking about the last time? This must be, like, a recreation of, like, a failed... 
lifeline or like like <laughs> lifeline or you know like a life uh, what you call it like a, a a dimension of its own or you know its own universe or I think this is like a oh, what you call it I'm looking for like a specific term that I keep, it's just on the t tip of my tongue I just can't remember it uh, but this is basically. I think it's, it's, it's happened many times, and he's trying to make sure that it goes right this time, but who the fuck is he? Like, what is he trying to actually get out of this? Um... What happened to my grandfather in 81? Oh, poor Joseph. Wrong place, wrong time, wrong friends, wrong life. An unstoppable force. Meeting an immovable object. There right. had to be course correction, Kathy. The house always wins. What did you ask him to do? I asked him to find the source and destroy it. For me. For Lily. For all of us. The source of what? Everything. The madness. The betrayals. The limitless suffering. How would he do that? I don't know. Joseph had a plan. He had allies. Allies? Who? The man in red. Someone else, too. I found the message you left for Grandpa. You said, it happened to you, too. What did? Meeting the lights, of course. Don't you have my picture from the night in the forest? You yeah. mean this? Oh, yes. They felt so warm. So comfortable luring me in. But when they got close, I could feel my mind split in two. I found myself with one foot on either side of the line, the thin line between hell and here. It felt like breathing through my nose with my mouth underwater. No wonder some sink beneath the surface, never to be heard from again. Was that what happened to Joseph, Jimmy? Did he sink to the bottom? I wish I knew. I'm just a man stuck with his ear up against the wall, picking up a word here and there. I am so tired, Kathy. I can feel the lights even now. Endless static in my head, like a TV tuned to a dead channel. But what are they? Where do they come from? The cradle of obscurity. The Alpha to our Omega. The distorted mirror. Why are you constantly speaking in riddles? Why do you assume I have a choice? We are nearing the end. Ask me about the misguided faithful. About the church? Um. God, there's just so much information in this. Um. So. I'm, I'm assuming that whatever happened to this guy and Joseph and everybody else didn't happen to Bo from the motorcycle club because he actually had the titanium uh, plating in his head. And that might have saved him? Is the Church of the Holy Trinity the misguided faithful? They are, yes. What makes you call them that? Isn't it obvious? They believe the lights are divine. The lights are neither divine nor unholy. They are but a twisted reflection of us. The judge and the jury are innermost child. Our greatest fear. Everything we long for and desire. It's more than most of us can take. The cup runneth over. How do I stop them? You must go to their birthplace. Their source. You must go to the cradle. It's the only way to save your friend. What? Are you talking about Eileen? Yes, she is being claimed. She's in great danger. You have to go back, Kathy. Liz! I need more than that, Jimmy. <laughs> Liz, help! Weird. I need to find Eileen. So, I'm assuming the reason I saw the red man outside the window when I woke up this morning was because he was coming after Eileen. But then I must have... 
And then as soon as I left, he must have like took her away or something like that. I don't even know. This is getting pretty serious and creepy and weird and things are starting to give me goosebumps and stuff, guys. Um, but anyway, I hope you're enjoying this episode. I'm going to call it here. Uh, we're going to go and look for Eileen next time. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm starting to like the, uh, the adventure a lot more now. Uh, but leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see the next episodes coming out. And thank you for your time and attention. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.